So if we want to know how many shirts and how many hats um, these people sell in total, we can use these facts down here to help us. The total costs add up to be $2,100, and the total income is $2,772. So there's a couple of different ways you can do this, but one thing you can do is you can say that the number of shirts, oh, you can say that the number of shirts is X, and you can say the number of hats is Y. So if you do uh, 8X plus 5Y, that should equal their total cost of 2100 And then you can do the same thing for the total income. Uh, they make $10 for each shirt and $7 uh, for each hat. So 10 times the number of shirts plus 7 times the number of hats, that equals their total income of $2,772. And so you have two variables defined with two equations. This is a system of equations problem that we can now solve because we have the, the right num number of equations to find out for these variables. So to solve this system, uh, it's kind of set up for elimination because the x's and the y's are stacked on top of each other. So I'm going to multiply the top equation by 4 and the bottom equation, oh wait, no, I want to multiply the top equation by 5. And the reason for that is because 8 times 5 makes 40. And I know that 4 times 10 will make 40. And I'm going to actually multiply the bottom by negative 4 because sometimes we forget to subtract a negative. It's just easier if one's positive 40x and one's negative 40x. So that's what you get when you multiply that equation out. And the whole reason we did this is so now that you can uh, add the top equation by the bottom equation and make the x's cancel. So when you add the y's together, you get this. When you add these last numbers, you get negative 5, 88. So the last step is obviously to divide both sides by negative 3. So you get y is uh, 196. And so we've answered the question about the number of hats. Uh, there's 196 hats. And to find out the, the number of shirts, um, you can just plug 196 back into either of these two equations. So we found out um, the number of hats was 196. So instead of a Y, now I get to replace it with the number 196. I'm going to put it in parentheses to remind myself we're multiplying. It's just a 1 there. Then we can keep simplifying. You can subtract 980 from both sides. I just need to divide both sides by 8, and we get the number of shirts. That's it, 140 shirts, and then 196 hats. That meets both those conditions that their costs add up to 2,100, and their income is 2,772.